Everyone, this is Faze and welcome to my channel. Apple just now wrapped up their Let Leap weekend where they announced the all new iPads. And this was a day I was super excited for. It was an amazing, short, but great event. So without any further ado, I'm just gonna do a quick recap on everything Apple announced today. So let's first start off by talking about the all new iPad Pro. So just like previous iPad Pros, we see the same sizes, 11 inch and 13 inch. However, they are now thinner than ever before. The 11 inch is 5.3 millimeters thin and the 13 inch is 5.1 millimeters thin. These are crazy thin and officially the thinnest Apple product ever. However, they're not just thinner, but drastically lighter as well. And like before, the new iPad Pro comes in two finishes, silver and space gray. Now it's the display and the new chip that are the main attractions for these new pros. The iPad Pro now has an all new OLED display that Apple is calling Ultra Retina XDR, which uses two OLED displays to get 1000 nits of brightness and 1600 nits of peak brightness. So this new OLED display is great because it provides better highlights, deeper blacks, more detail in shadows, and better motion. So everything basically looks way better and way more precise. Also, Apple is surprisingly providing a nano textured glass option as well. As rumored, the new iPad Pro is using the M4 chip, which enables the thin design and the tandem OLED display. So with the new M4 chip, there's a new CPU with four performance cores and six efficiency cores, all with machine learning accelerators. This chip is 50% faster than the M2. The new M4 chip has a neural engine, which accelerates AI workloads. Now, Apple did not spend any time going over any new AI features as they're clearly waiting for WWDC next month to go over all that. However, they stated that AI-related tasks is 60 times faster than the previous chip. That is absolutely insane. To showcase the powerful new M4 chip, Apple has showcased their new updated Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro apps that take full advantage of this chip. Final Cut Pro now renders up to two times faster than M1, and there's also a new live multi-cam mode, so you just connect and you can preview up to four cameras all at once. Logic Pro is also smarter than ever with AI and comes with a plethora of new features as well. Now let's talk about the cameras and the mics. It has a 12 megapixel back camera and four studio mics, and like before, it also has the LiDAR scanner and now a new adaptive True Tone flash. Also, just like the new iPad Air, the front camera is now on the landscape side. As was rumored, the new iPad Pros have become more expensive. The 11 inch starts at $999 and the 13 inch starts at $1299. Now, alongside the all new iPad Pro, Apple also announced the all new Magic Keyboard, which got an amazing new upgrade. The new Magic Keyboard is the same design, but it's thinner. It also now has a function row and an aluminum palm rest. The trackpad has haptic feedback, so the entire experience feels just like using a MacBook. Now let's talk about the all new Apple Pencil. So this isn't necessarily a third generation Apple Pencil, but an all new model called Apple Pencil Pro. It looks pretty much the same as the previous Apple Pencils, but now you can squeeze the pencil to bring up a menu. There's also haptic feedback, and you can now roll the pencil to change brush shapes. And finally, it supports Find My as well. The Apple Pencil Pro not only works on the iPad Pro, but also the iPad Air and costs $129. Now let's talk about iPad Air. Now the changes in the new iPad Air are not as drastic, but the updates are still nice. Alongside the 11 inch model, there is now an all new 13 inch model as well. They come in three new colors, blue, purple, and starlight. Finally, just like the 10th generation iPad, the new iPad Air has a front-facing camera on the landscape edge. Audio has also improved with landscape stereo audio, and the new iPad Air is using the M2 chip, which is 50% faster than the M1 chip. The 11 inch model starts at $599 and the 13 inch model is and the 13 inch model starts at $799. Alright, guys, so this basically wraps up today's video where we went over all the new iPads that Apple announced today and to be honest I am super excited to start pre-ordering one right now I'm going to be going for the iPad Pro the 12.9 inch one with the new Magic Keyboard and the new Apple Pencil so be sure to stay tuned to my channel subscribe and I'll do a full unboxing video the moment I get my hands on one and I'll also do a full review on the device as well but of course as always I want to know your thoughts what did you think about Apple's let loose event were you satisfied with the new updates of the new ipad air and the ipad pro 
What are your thoughts on those devices alongside the new accessories? Whatever your thoughts are, leave them down in the comment section below. Subscribe and I'll see you next time.